Talofa, Malale, Mbula, and welcome to Season 4, Episode 55 of Breakfast Bites by TevovoSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People Sports on a beautiful Saturday morning, 25 February 2023. Coming to you from Paradise on the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In rugby, yesterday the Fiji Rugby Union appointed Simon Raivalui as head coach of the Flying Fijians, replacing Vern Cotter and Inoke Male to coach Team Fijiana, replacing Senrusi Serubakula. So, whatever happened to Scott Razor Robertson shall be consigned to the annals of Fiji Rugby Union history. In rugby league, Wayne Bennett is threatening to make a bombshell statement in the Dolphins' first ever NRL game by naming 19-year-old Isaiah Katoa in the halves ahead of Anthony Milford. The Courier-Mail reported Milford is in danger of being axed with Katoa told he will make his NRL debut at 5'8 alongside halfback Sean O'Sullivan. It would complete a meteoric rise for Katoa from Penrith's Jersey flag side to the NRL in less than a year. In boxing, Serbian goalkeeper Margo Ditrovic was only introduced to the Sevilla lineup at the last minute after the regular goalkeeper felt unwell prior to the game, was punched in the face in a shocking fan attack during Sevilla's Europa League defeat to PSV Eindhoven in the Netherlands. In football this week, Adidas renewed its sponsorship deal with Major League Soccer, reportedly worth US $830 million through to 2030, the company's largest investment in North American soccer. This allows the MLS to add two more teams per conference for a total of nine each. Companies continue to invest in Major League Soccer as its franchises prosper. Since 2019, Forbes reports the average team value has increased 85% to US $579 million, with a 29th team, St. Louis City Soccer Club, added for this, reason, this season, which starts today. In sports biz, live golf stars have scored a significant victory in their rebellion against the PGA Tour, in that Live Golf Stars will be eligible to compete in all four major tournaments this season after the PGA of America gave them the green light. And the Golf Stars are Phil Mickelson, Brooks Kopeka, Kopka, sorry, and Martin Kamer, who won the PGA Championship before defecting to the Saudi-backed golf tour. The PGA of America's decision came only one day after the Royal and Ancient Golf Club of St. Andrews said all live players were cleared to play in the 151st Open Championship at Royal Liverpool in July. Augusta National Golf Club previously said, previously said live golfers would be eligible for the 2023 Masters and US Open. It's all about the money, honey. For TavoVersports.com, I'm Carlton Kamea. Mahalo, vina'a, and thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. And thank you all to Mars for all your love and support.